Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. On today's video, we will be looking at the San Martin SN0136 GMT Diver, allegedly the best watch ever from San Martin. Now let's quickly go over the specifications and dimensions. Coming in at 260 pounds on a bracelet or on an island NATO strap for just around 220, they are giving us a Seiko NH34 powered monster tool watch with an AR coated domed sapphire, 200 meters off water resistance, a ceramic bezel insert on the 120 click unidirectional diving bezel. You also get three different colors. You get the black, which I have, a sunburst blue and the sunburst green with gilt combination, which looks very impressive. On dimensions, you have a 39 millimeter case, but it is around 40.5 millimeters at the bezel, 13 millimeters in thickness and a log to log of 47.5 millimeters with a 20 millimeter femur end link on the H-link bracelet, which does taper down to 18 millimeters just before the 20 millimeter on the fly adjustable clasp. Now, initially I thought this was kind of expensive and we know San Martin do add that 40 to 60 pounds hype tax. But looking at this a lot closer, even though the design has already been done, it's homaging a very popular watch. It has been revamped. They have added a lot to this familiar chassis to make it just that little bit different. Now we all know how good San Martin are at making watches. People who saw them from the beginning around three to four years ago, we have seen them come so far and I believe they have mastered so many functional aspects of a watch. They have mastered bezels, loom, bracelets and with their on the fly adjustment clasp they are owning the aliexpress watch scene for sure but like the majority of aliexpress or chinese brands they do struggle with the design aspects a little and this is where i am struggling to really get excited about what i'm seeing on the dial it is a basic black sunray dial with a mix of printed and applied features the logo below the 12 and the text along with the mini track it's all printed and the hour markers are applied with that basic polished frames no applied date window just a printed frame and they have included a matte black printed 24 hour chapter ring with orange numerals now the handset is also shockingly basic they're using flat polished hands with no micro detailing a color match gmt hand with a red tip for the second hand i don't know why and this is not my only issue with the handset while i think the hands are legible i feel they're just a little bit thin it's more like a sports watch style handset rather than a diver now personally i prefer proper dive watch hands and not only that, I do also have an issue with the font just above the 6. I feel that automatic 200 meters is just too large. Uh, it's actually not too far from the logo style and it should be quite a lot smaller just to kind of blend into the dial uh, and not really be so prominent as it is. Now, don't get me wrong, everything is done nicely. It's very precise, the crisp printing, but it is a little bit basic. And San Martin have given us exquisite levels of finishing on handsets dial out markers and stuff like that before so i don't know why this is called their best watch now i get it it is a tool gmt diver but still i think they've got capacity for more i also think they are being a little stingy with some of the specifications not offering loom date wheels or not offering loomed ceramic bezel inserts or maybe even a brushed black steel or a matte ceramic insert because this is what i am seeing from the competitors now, I know San Martin are ahead of the competition in terms of QC, but the others do seem to be adding that little bit more for a slightly lower price, of course. Uh, and if you are on the top of your game for a long time, you can start to get complacent, which is why I like to always challenge San Martin a little more than others. Now, as soon as you step away from that dial, I am all for everything else. As I said earlier, they have revamped such a classic case and made it so much better and, and added that much more depth to a very basic design. I really love that bezel style. Stepping away from those scallops and into a thick tool-like bezel with chunky flat-ended gear style teeth with a brushed finish. The design means you can operate this in any occasion. The clicks are precise and tactile. And of course, it all lines up. Now, it is a little too tactile for my liking. I prefer the bezel to have a bit more of a smoother glide, some subtle clicks, but you can't argue with great build quality like this. Next, we move on to the case. You have premium satin brushing along the side profile, and I am so glad they added the polished highlights along the sides of the case. 
it does change such a simple case it adds so much complexity to it it's very smooth and finished beautifully and of course your standard crisp clean transitions very clean lines from san martin now notice they don't actually have that usual sharp edge under the case uh, and it is noticeably smoother and you can actually just about make out this little line which is just cleaning up the edge um, and it's softening it ever so slightly now the bracelet is the next best thing about this watch i really like the brushed hasting design they've not gone for those flat h links the links are convex design giving a nice smooth feel and appearance now the taper is minimal it's only two millimeters less than the end link but it is perfect for a tool watch like this now, of course the added on the fly adjustment is just a big fat cherry on top it's a very smooth mechanism And it feels so well built and complete with the outer shell of the clasp with a high quality finishing smooth with polished bevels and complete with the logo it is stunning there is no getting away from that you also got rounded off pushers you can see just a slim bevel around there the pushers are brushed but that bevel is polished so you just get immense attention to detail when it comes to the case and the bracelet so this is what i mean right they can do so much look how much detail they've put onto the case and the bracelet so why not just add that little bit more to the dial the fit is also perfect for a 40 millimeter it's a great bracelet sits really well on wrist and the watch sits so well balanced and it has a really good weight but i did notice the bracelet is shorter than the others i only removed three links and usually i can remove up to five so i'm not too sure what the biggest size wrist this can accommodate now i also feel the proportions of this watch are pretty much for all wrist sizes and it fits great on my six and a half inch wrist sits really well and i really did enjoy wearing it now i also see why it is 260 pounds like i said the revamped case does need extra tooling for the additions the new bracelet but squeezing in those little things like the loomed bezel insert or a more interesting material choice on the insert maybe making the dial a bit better it would definitely make me feel better about spending that much so what do you guys think what do you rate it against the other san martins you own or have seen let me know below for now thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you on the next video